Hello and welcome everybody, you're watching ST Sports, it's Ultimate Sports Destination and this is the post-match analysis of the 16th match of the Indian Super League the Kerala Blasters who took on the Mumbai City FC at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium, Kochi Talking about the match, a thrilling match, a thrilling encounter as the Mumbai City FC rose from their slumber, rose from their sleep I would say as they held the Kerala Blasters to a 1-1 draw uh, regards to a goal from Balwan Singh who uh, cancelled out a goal from uh, Mark Sivnius for the Kerala Blasters at the 14th minute. So a thrilling encounter, spoils are uh, shared at the Kerala Blasters Stadium. Coming to talk about the home side, the Kerala Blasters FC finally have found a goal in their bag regards to a goal from uh, Mark Sifneos in the 14th minute. Uh, they came onto the field with full intent, with full passion, with full clarity that they want to score a goal, they want to get the position, they want to play their uh, uh, attacks quite well and their uh, intent was pretty clear as Mark Sifneos started instead of Ian Hume uh, in, the, in the match versus Mumbai City FC and made a Quick impact in the 14th minute when uh, Berbatov gave a brilliant pass to Reno Anto who crossed who, and uh, Mark Sifnios, uh, not the best of uh, shots I would say but a brilliant volley from him which gave them Kerala Blasters their first goal. The fans went wild, the team went wild as the first stuff filled with passion, filled with intent and um, brilliant stuff from Kerala Blasters at the first half. Uh, certainly a wasteful performance as well in the first half. A lot of chances wasted, be it CK, we need... Uh, be it Karish Pekusin. Karish Pekusin was pretty selfish today and I think he was the only defect in the entire attacking team uh, of, for the Kerala Blasters. Uh, he played out some missed passes, he gave us some missed crosses and also wasted uh, uh, two to three chances. So he was the main defect. Uh, they started using the wing more, one of the positive impacts of uh, their matches. They started using the wing more. CK Vinay, Raldu Atara, Jackie Chan Singh was really, really good today. And all of them played to the absolute intent. Mox if news was well, spirited, Burbato was well, brilliant touches from him as well. So Spirited performance from today, uh, a couple of good saves from Paul Rahubka, a goal let in in the 17th minute. Uh, as we, when we talk about the second half, I would say especially, um, they were tired out, uh, they were more uh, settled. They, uh, I mean, a lot of missed passes were there, missed uh, uh, crosses were there in the second half, especially defensively, and which led to a goal as well from Balwan Singh. A good shot, good goal from uh, the Mumbai City FC who cap capitalized on a mistake from the Kerala Blasters. So, in the second half, they were a bit more tired out, especially in the 70th minute and uh, couldn't hold on to the 1-0 uh, lead as uh, Balwan Singh scored in the second half in the 77th minute. So, uh, better, better performance by Kerala Blasters uh, in the third match versus Mumbai City FC. They still have a bit more to work upon. Uh, West Brown played today as expected to. Uh, the next match is against FC Go at the Fatora. The first away game will be played on uh, the 9th of December. But certainly an amazing uh, match for them. Not the expected result it would be certainly frustrating and annoying for them to see this result but uh, they will hope to come back they will hope to play some better football and win the next one so let's see what happens and what improvements they're gonna make for the next one now talking about the mumbai city fc it was almost like they rose from their sleep in the second half as a pretty poor display by them in the first half uh, the mumbai uh, the Kerala blasters did not give them anything out in the first half uh, position was with the Kerala blasters um uh, they, whenever they got the ball, uh, they were intercepted. Uh, the Kerala Blasters played with full intent of attacking football and uh, they were at the back foot, the Mumbai City at the first half. But in the second half, they came more uh, rejuvenated. They uh, came as a group team and uh, they played some pretty good football uh, and a good counter-attack uh, from uh, Mumbai City FC led to a uh, Balwan Singh goal in the 77th minute from a Kerala Blasters mistake. So the Kerala Blasters gave more opportunities to the uh, uh, Mumbai City FC as they drew, drew, drew back, uh, they played on the back foot in the second half and the Mumbai City certainly capitalized on that and uh, they earned a hard-fought uh, draw at the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium Kochi. They still have a lot to work upon, especially defensively and um, in, in midfield as well. Uh, so I uh, hope they will do that in the upcoming games and uh, Alex Guimaraes has a, a major role to play in his team uh, in building up a good team uh, for uh, contention of the top four sport. Uh, of the ISL. So let's hope for a better performance from them. They have to play, they have to improve on their uh, certain tactics, certain positions, and um, Alex Gomara should find his perfect uh, lineup. So let's, let's see what he's up to. Usual, the Kerala Blasters fans came in numbers. Uh, 35,000 uh, fans were present in the stadium. Certainly, a reduced number of fans from the first and uh, second match. Uh, but uh, hope that more fans will turn out for the upcoming uh, fixtures in the Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium. And uh, uh, the fans, as usual, were uh, electrifying, were uh, really amazing. Uh, the Manyapara Kerala Blasters fans again. again um, 
brilliant stuff from them chants were organized there were the flashlight waves and uh, brilliant initiative by them for the clean up clean up uh, program as well there was a clean up program by the uh, manipur as well brilliant initiative so the fans turned out in numbers and uh, they will turn out in numbers uh, numbers as usual and uh, we can just expect more from them so overall a brilliant uh, game of football at the jawaharlal nehru stadium uh, a better match than both the matches that kerala blasters played they'll be certainly pleased with the performance but they will be uh, certainly frustrated that uh, they gave a goal away in the second half in the 77 the dying minutes of the game so uh, overall a good game a good game of football another draw so the kerala blasters are stuck with three points in uh, three games with three draws so um, we hope for better performances kerala blasters will be playing on the fc goa on the 9th in the fatwada stadium now uh, the pre match analysis will be brought up there as well so a good game of football we expect more uh, you're watching the indian super league you're watching sc sports it's the ultimate sports destination and uh, subscribe if you're not uh, more pre match analysis sports match analysis and live streams coming soon so stay tuned for that this is me sam sanyal for today and see you in the next one thank you for watching